All right, from LaSalle, head coach Dr. John Giannini and uh, uh, Ramon Galloway. Uh, opening statement, please, coach. We, we lost to a very good team. The record makes that obvious, but, but I'm telling you that uh, it, it would be hard to play the game of basketball better than, than what St. Louis does. There, there's always someone more talented. I'm sure there's teams with, with more talent than us, more teams with, with teams with more talent than St. Louis, but in terms of how they play the game, they, they are extremely impressive. Uh, I thought on our end, we got off to that bad start. After that, I thought that uh, we, we outplayed them for, for good portions. Um, uh, again, I think they were just more solid. We, we made more mistakes, and, and getting in the hole early really hurt us. But our kids played hard. And, and one of the unique things about this year's team is uh, that was a game with a minute, minute and a half, two minutes left. You know, no one was leaving. And that's how every single one of our losses were this year. We never had uh, just a bad game where we were out of it the whole way. You know, a lot of times you have a team and you get off to a bad start like we did today and you're just never in the game. This team was in every game we played up until that last minute. And, and that doesn't happen very often. I, I think it's a testament to how hard these kids play. And uh, we're going to miss Earl a lot. But uh, other than that, we, we have everyone back, and uh, I think it's more of a, uh, it's certainly not an ending for uh, the majority of the guys in that locker room. And we can learn from a team like St. Louis, who uh, really doesn't make many mistakes, really doesn't do much to hurt themselves. Questions? You were able to get close down the one twice in the second half. Um, why couldn't you get over that home? They wouldn't let us. We would have loved it if they would have let us. We really tried. They just wouldn't let us. They weren't cooperative. <laughs> we tried. Coach, uh, coach right here. Rick Majerus was just talking about the fact that he thought you guys deserved an NIT bid. How, how much would that mean? To get Big you? deal. Big deal. You know, if now we, we lost to, uh, you know, we're 0-4 we're four, oh four against St. Louis and Temple, two pretty good teams, but at the same time we're 4-0 and oh against Xavier, UMass, and St. Bonaventure. Those are some pretty good teams too. So, um, you know, we, we, we would love to be the, in, in the NIT. I think when uh, though those, uh, those, uh, uh, that bracket is announced, you see some of the best programs in, in the country in that. Obviously, everyone would prefer to be in the NCAA tournament, but you always say that you're judged by the company that you keep, and you're going to see household names in that tournament, and uh, we, we'd love to be among those household names and one of the better programs in the country. John, with the four-guard offense, the, the point counterpoint, the advantages and disadvantages are kind of obvious, but and the advantages played out today, but what about the disadvantages when they were able to get to the Well, rim? it's usually rebounding, but uh, that really wasn't uh, at, at an extreme level today. Uh, so, uh, you know, I really can't say that, uh, and, and, you know, I think Conklin had a good second half, but, you know, they're, they're, and, but now Conklin had a big guy on him. So, it, you know, we, that, that matchup is a wash. So I, I think... Typically, it hurts you in terms of rebounding, but tonight, I, I don't think it, 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 it hurt us a whole lot. I just, uh, you know, we made mistakes. We had a guy or two not to have their normal good games. We got in a hole early, but most importantly, that is as sound a team as you could play. We, we, they're maniacal about their scouting preparation, and we, we had one set that's a good set that we executed perfectly that they had never seen. And through their habits and, and through their fundamentals. I mean, they covered it like a textbook, something that was perfectly executed with good players that they had never seen before. You know, I mean, that co people think highly of Coach Majerus as a, as a coach for uh, for good reason. Uh, they that We lost to a good team. We could have played better. We can beat them, but but we would have to step it up. Your question is for Ramon Galloway. Ramon, uh, can you just talk about this game? in terms of what it means for the season to end like this and just the hopes of postseason play beyond us? Uh, it's, it's a tough loss um, because we came a long way and we worked hard um, to get 21 wins for, um, for the program. 
um, stepped up from last year and uh, to come in and lose the first round is kind of disappointing. But um, we worked hard all year, so uh, we just going like, like we said we lost Earl, but um, that's only one player, and we got everybody else back. So we get back to work tomorrow or the day after that. Ramon, as a Philly guy, you had to know Temple and St. Joe's lost. Was there any extra? motivation to try and carry the Philly torch and if, if so how disappointing is it that you couldn't come through? Uh, it was a lot of motivation. Um, we went in the halftime and we, we, everybody told each other you know we're the only Philly team that's left um, in the tournament so um, we try to keep try to keep that to motivate us so we can you know have our Philly pride and just LaSalle pride. Ramon this is your first year at LaSalle after not having to take the year off. Uh, can you speak to the year as a whole for you? Um, the year as a whole, it's it been great. I mean, to play, with, uh, to have Coach G coach me and to play with the players that I play with, I'm going to continue to play with is uh, is great. You know, to have a to have a teammate like Sam, Tyreek, um, Taylor Dunn, just everybody from from the one to the 12th person on the bench, everybody is a, is a great team and it's a great chemistry and we're a family. Good, two more questions. As was mentioned, you guys cut the lead to one on two separate occasions. Um, you also went seven minutes scoreless to open the game after scoring that first basket. Can you, Ramon, talk a little bit about what Coach Giannini said to you right after that stretch and then later in the game to keep you guys fighting? Um, at the beginning, when they went on a run, uh, Coach G just told us to keep our head and, and stay positive and stay together. Um, in the game of basketball, each team will have its runs. So uh, he just kept telling us that the, the score at the end of the game counts. So don't get caught up in the in the early runs and, and things like that. Just stay positive and stay together. And uh, in order for us to come come back, we had to get defensive stops. And uh, when we brought the game down to one, we couldn't get the, the extra defensive stop that we needed. And uh, they're a great team. Um, they rebounded great, and their defensive principles was, was awesome. All right, last question. Coach G, with a promising uh, core coming back next year, how excited are you for the bunch coming out, you know, making a statement in the, in the A-10 next year? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're really excited. And uh, I think one of the, the, the big positives is uh, I thought Steve Zach played great today. I, I think Jarrell Wright had a, a really good year. And, uh, you know, we played the four guards a lot this year because they were our most veteran players, our most experienced players, our most consistent players, and therefore our best players. But our big guys are coming on, and I, I just think we're going to keep getting better.